All right, hey, this is Smisky Arts, and what I'm going to be doing today is a repair job on this um, piece here. It's a, it goes to a, um, I guess a bear holds it. But anyways, as you can see, it's missing, obviously, here. it's corner piece is busted out. So we're going to repair that, see what we can do. Um, yeah. All right. Someone at work gave this to me, Linda, thanks. Um, but anyways... Uh, let's uh, spin the camera around and uh, we'll get going. All right, cool. All right, this is about the third or fourth attempt at me explaining this portion of the video. But the thing is, I can't just fill this hole with a bunch of plaster because it's going to make it too heavy. And because this thing rests in the arms or hands of a bear statue or something. So I don't want to make it too heavy because it'll freaking topple over and whatever, so on and so forth. So I'm going to just, what I need to do is fill this thing with some bubble wrap. All right. Pack that in there real tight. I don't know. Am I going to need all of this? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, the point being is I need to have something in there that I can um, use as a brace to keep... Um, the product that I'm using to uh, fix it so it doesn't this stupid tape so it doesn't um, uh, cave in while I'm trying to um, sculpt it make sense okay get rid of this stupid tape all right okay now stuff that in there okay Let's pull that out a little bit okay I'm gonna put a uh, put a thin layer initially of a small piece to go over this. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this piece hard. Okay, we're gonna put this in the oven. Okay, this is my preliminary piece. This is kind of like a scaffolding um, armature, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like a something that I can sculpt onto in order to shape the thing. But I need something to, you know, be able I can take off out and on and blah blah blah. Thinking I'll where's my anyways, whatever. Okay, so this piece is just gonna rest there. So I'm gonna take this out, and we're gonna take this in the oven, we're gonna bake it and make this hard that way. Like I said, I have a platform to sculpt on. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that. Um take about I don't know, probably about 15 minutes for this piece. Um, as far as the video, it'll only take like a couple seconds because you know, I'm not going to videotape the me baking the dumb thing. Okay, so um, I'll be right back. All right, I'll bake this guy, make him hard, and then um, and then we'll be able to like work on this piece a little bit easier. Okay, cool. All right, here's a step I kind of forgot to mention, or I probably should mention, and I probably should do. Otherwise, I'm gonna paint myself into a corner. I need to be able to pull this thing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this um, piece of metal in there. We're going to bend this bend this up. Okay, so that I have like a little lever thing to pull that to be able to pull it out. All right. Okay. See that right there? Get that out of the way. See that right there? So basically, oh, there's the oven. So basically, I'm just going to insert this on the back side, okay? Push it through, okay? So that the, um, you see that pretty good? So that when I have it down here, like this, and I start sculpting the other piece, I can easily pull it out, okay? Okay, cool. Now that I've done that, let me go... Take this to the oven, bake it, and then we'll be ready to get on to the next step. Okay? Cool. Sounds good. Awesome. All right. All right. Like I said, I'll be back in a couple seconds. Had him in the oven for about 15 minutes. Cured pretty good. It's cooled down, so now I can put him in place. There we go. Give work that a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, I guess. Anyways, whatever. 
Um, so now I'm just going to go over this with another layer. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if that's going to work like I want it to. Yeah. All right, we're going to do something else. All right, I uh, was having some issues with this going in too deep, so I just filled it in with some uh, some uh, foil. Okay, so it rests pretty, 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 pretty okay on there. Okay. Um, so anyway, so all I'm going to do is spread out some of this, a thin layer of this clay, and we're just going to kind of go over it like so. Okay. All right. And then I'll take my master tool and we'll just kind of like try and get it to where it matches up better with the um, piece. All right. And then we'll probably bake this piece as well and then we'll uh, get it real close. So. But right now I'm just going to make this so that it looks somewhat how it should look. And like I said, if you want to get it out of there, I got my little piece there pop right off. All right, but the main thing is to try and get it get it flush. I get it close up flush in on the sections here like that. You see that right there? Try and get that to where it matches up. All right. Um, let me get some more clay. But anyways, that's what we're going to be doing right now. All right. And anyways, I'm going to work on this for a while off camera. And then we'll uh, come back and see how it is. All right. Cool. Awesome. All right. She's in a decent shape here. Okay, she's in the basic shape. Um, I can take it off and on. Okay. Um, one little side note: I made I made it flush around the top part here, and then around here. But I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave a little gap in this section here, right here. I'm gonna leave a little gap here because I want to be able to do this this uh, circle motion around the edge here but I don't really want to do it right now I want to bake this second the second layer so that it's um, a nice puzzle piece and then I can really um, work on some detailing on it okay but it looks like she fits in there real nice um, you can see she fits in real good there all right cool so what I'm gonna do the next step is we're gonna just Pop them out. We're going to bake this piece, make this harden, make this hard, or cure this piece so that it's, you know, hard. I can work on it a little bit better. But um, right now it looks like I just want to make sure that it fits in there real nice, like probably smooth these out a little bit. But anyways, once I have that going, we'll be in, we'll be in, a, we'll be in a good, good shape. We'll be in good shape, basically. All right. Cool. Okay. Again. I'm going to bake this for about 15 minutes, and then uh, we'll be back. All right? I'll see you in a couple seconds, actually. All right? All right. Uh, we're back. This is technically the next day. So, anyways, we're going to try and do this circle print. So, like I said, I tried to make a gap enough here, but I don't think I made it gappy enough. So, I might have to cut into this a little bit with an um, X-Acto knife. Yeah, let's do that a little bit. I know you can't see it probably because my finger's in the way probably, but but I'm basically just shaving this down. Yeah, looks like that'll work out just right. As I mentioned in like the earlier clip, I need to make a little bit of a, a gap here so that I can go over it with the uh, part where I can sculpt it. Okay. All right, so this should be this should be enough, I think. Okay, so there's a little gap in here. Okay, as you can see, there's a little gap. Okay, cool. 
Um, get that shaving stuff out of the way. So I'll just take a thin little piece and we'll just go over that. Like so. And we'll cut this off. Like so. And then we'll just kind of start working it onto there. Alright, can you get in there? Alright, cool. Oops, let me just get rid of this too. Okay. So, da da da. Alright, cool. Awesome. Alright, what do we talk about? Uh, the weather? Yeah, the weather is really crappy here in Toledo, Ohio. It's a negative, negative wind chill of like 20 or 30 below. That's kind of sucky, but that's the world we live in. I mean, if we didn't have such crappy weather, when we had good weather, we wouldn't really appreciate it that much. If you think about it, kind of a crappy way to appreciate good weather is having to have crappy weather or bad things happen to you in general. So, like say you win, you lose one championship game, come back the next year then you win it that makes more of a big deal if you win it every year what's the what's the big thrill of it anymore you know all right i think we're done talking small talk stuff here so let's uh let me show you okay we're just gonna oops try and get this piece a little bit closer to the whatever so we'll just kind of go, I'll just kind of go like this. I'll kind of, whoops, guesstimate where these grooves are going to be. All right, just start off kind of just going like this sort of thing. And then uh, I'll put him around. Anyways, am I getting this in? Yeah, kind of. Okay, well, let me um, work on this for a little bit more. Um, Nick on it. Um, you just kind of slowly work it like so. Alright. Uh, just like a lot of my other videos, not the most exciting type of video, but, but, uh, gotta, gotta document it. Document who I am as a human being. Alright. Anyways, enough of my rambling. Let me go work on this a little bit. And I'll come back and um, show you how it how it kind of looks. All right, cool. All right, there we go. Um, of course, I have to leave it a little bit rough because obviously it's not a perfect. Whoops, not a perfect circle, whatever. Um, but anyways, this is, um, and just to remind you why I put this little pin here so I can pop it off and on without having to grab the piece and yank on it and then end up screwing something up so that's that on um, the next thing we're gonna do um, now that I've got that part I have to try and figure out how to recreate um, this rough texture on top of here because this is um, it's, it's 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 smooth so I'm gonna work on that and again I'll just take a thin layer of the clay and put it on top of the piece and then we'll try and um, rough that out, make it look somewhat similar to this texture here. That can be that that easy. So it'll probably be the trickiest part of the sculpting section of the uh, video. All right. I'm gonna charge these people about uh, probably about six hundred dollars. Hear that, Linda? Six hundred dollars. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Seems like a lot of work for a meaningless type of statue, but someone asked me something like this, if it's important to them, then um, then I'll give it my all. Plus, I don't want to disrespect Linda. She'll beat me up. Okay, cool. I'm going to start adding some clay on the top here, and then we'll try and, um, try and give it kind of like that crazy crazy um, texture haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do that just yet 
That's right, for 600 bucks, I'll probably figure it out. Ah. Uh, all right. Let me work on this little section here. And, um, and we'll be back, and I'll kind of show you how it, how it turned out. All right, cool. All right, so one way of roughing this up is adding little circle pieces and working them in there. Um, yeah, like so. Kind of gives it more whatever. Anyways, um, another thing I figured that I think I can probably use is literally I can use my own fingers to roughen the um, surface because this is a soft enough type of clay where my actual fingerprints can make a rough style of imprint I just kinda have to you know press into it and then kinda rub it a little bit that'll help give it give it some roughage I mean I could use I think I could use some sandpaper too but I think that that just kinda scratches it up a little bit or maybe I can just do that scratch it up a little bit with the sandpaper okay like so I can't really see it but and then just kinda go over it with my finger um, see how that works different techniques I'm sure I could probably try so anyways she's getting close to being done so I can do the final bake on this part here as you can see it's it's coming along alright and then of course up here I added a little bump just to uh, so it wasn't too too symmetrical because it's a log it's not supposed to be perfectly you know circular or at least in the this spiral part alright awesome Make a little piece in there okay do that okay cool smooth out some of these little spots here and then we'll be all right all right cool all right uh, folks um the piece has been baked in the oven so it's hard so i basically pulled out the um the bubble wrap out of the piece out of the inside whatever um so the next step would simply be to glue it into place um, I was going to originally make a bridge piece out of um, wire to go on the inside so that it wouldn't cave in, but it looks like there's enough surface space um, and this fits in just perfectly like a glove. This isn't going anywhere. Okay, I was afraid it was going to, but it looks like it's not. So I'm just going to get me some Gorilla Glue, glue this into place, and um, we'll be uh, good to go. But I think what I want to do now, though, is I want to get rid of this this metal piece, which shouldn't be a problem. I think I'll dig dig a little bit dig a little bit on the inside, so I can get a good grab on it with the um, with the uh, bolt cutters or whatever you want to call them. Not bolt cutters. There's something else. Wire cutters. I don't know. Anyways, that's good enough. All right. So we'll just snip this guy off and um, I won't have to worry about that I think I gotta go a little closer there we go okay I think I got it blink alright cool and then um, if that's not quite right I'll just smooth it out with um, something else or maybe I'll just undo it from the inside yeah I can probably do this from the inside ah where are my pliers at Anyways, you, you kind of learn things as you go. I mean, I wasn't... Yeah, see, there we go. I'll just pull it out. There we go. I'm just saying in case I didn't get it close enough, snipped. But it looks like I can just pull this out. Yeah. We'll just pull this out. Okay. Anyways, I think I'm enough said with this portion. Okay, cool. Completely out. All right, cool. So now let me go get my Gorilla Glue. And we'll put this uh, put this in place. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Got my Gorilla Glue. All right, we'll just put this around the edges, obviously. This stuff is pretty good. Oh, I'm getting it on my hand. Oh, am I that stupid? Oh. There we go. Yes, I have it on my hand. Great, not what I wanted to do. 
Anyways, we'll put some on here too, just for the fun of it. All right, awesome. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, groovy. All right, let's put it on there. Oh, I totally got this all over my fingers. Uh, it sucks. Ugh. Whoops. Okay. All right. All right. I'll press it there for a little couple seconds. We'll wipe off that excess gunk. Which technically it's it's kind of easier to do it after it dries, but screw it. All right. Cool. I think this hand is relatively clean. Okay. This is the hand that's muffed up. Anyways. Press that on a little bit. I might take some tape and tape it on there, but yeah, I think I might do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Because this stuff expands, and I don't want it. I want this to be as flush as possible. So yeah, let me go wash my bloody hand and get some tape and tape it into place, and we'll be all right. Okay, cool. I've said enough. Time to move on. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Give me some duct tape. Tape this around. Okay. Like I said, the reason why I'm doing this is that the glue expands. Okay. And I don't want it to push up on this piece here so that it's not flush anymore. So we're going to tape that into place so that it, as it hardens or dries, it doesn't expand out of place. All right. Okay. Now we'll probably wait a couple hours and, um, and then we'll go from there. Let me get some of this glue here. Yeah, but anyways, all right, cool. I'll work on something else then in the meantime. All right, cool. Okay, now that this has dried for quite some time, most of the day, I'll just take off the tape. All right, and then looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, we'll just take a exacto knife and we'll um, cut out these um, the excess glue like so, and then we'll be uh, pretty much ready to give her a paint job and see how that comes out. All right. Actually, uh, one more thing I'll probably have to do after I clean this up a bit. I might have to fill in some of these gaps, like the little lines here. Fill in some of those, I think, just a little bit with some joint compound. Some of this looks like it's going to be just fine, but... Okay, let's see here. Alright. Take all that off. I mean, when this stuff dries and ex and it's exposed to the air, it's easy to pop off. It just kind of pops off. So, anyways, but on the inside, of course, it adheres the two sections together perfectly and or wonderfully. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, I'm gonna work on this for a bit. I'm gonna get these these spots so they are a little more flush so to speak all right anyways let me go grab some joint compound and fill in some of these tiny 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 little gaps all right I mean a paint job might be able to hide it I think but but I don't know oops anyways <clears throat> I've prattled on again a bit far or a bit long so let me step the camera here and uh, work on this for a little bit and then uh, get to the painting part all right groovy but anyways here's how it came out pre painting pretty good all right cool all right, <clears throat> I don't really think I need to videotape this part, but because there's really not a whole lot to cover up, um, like I said in the previous clip. But anyways, we'll do it anyhow, or we'll we'll videotape it anyways, just because I gotta show every little step I'm doing here. Oops. 
And then once this dries out, we will just take some sandpaper and smooth it out. And then we'll be golden. Okay. I think a lot of the spots in here should be just should be just fine. Anyways, whoops. Don't want to be out of camera or out of frame. Whoops. All right, am I in frame? Okay, get some of these up here. Yeah. Anyways, all right. We'll do this, and then we'll be done for the day. I'll go to bed. I'll wake up tomorrow. And this should be all dried out. I mean, this 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 part here shouldn't take too long to dry out, anyways, because it's very thin. It's a very thin layer. So, but, anyways, whatever. All right, awesome. Okay. Now, all right, get that guy. Out. Whoops, that one's gonna be a little deep. All right, whatever. Okay, cool. Oops. All right, Linda, you didn't tell me about these other screwed up spots. The little freaking hole here, and there's a hole over here. See if we can fix that with some, yeah, uh, with this stuff. <sighs> oh my god! Now here's another extra two hundred dollars. So that brings the grand total to like six, seven, oh, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, we're gonna charge them eight hundred dollars for this. All right. Okay. That's kind of fixed, I guess. Kind of. Wait for that to dry. And then we'll sand it, obviously, and paint it. Great. Yeah, I kind of noticed there was some cracks over here. And then I was, like, looking around. I'm like, is this cracked over here, too? And then I saw these holes. Anyways, whatever. No big deal. All right. Okay, cool. We'll let that dry too. Awesome. All right, uh, that was the easy part. Now I've got to paint the darn thing. All right, cool. Um, and then we have to do the other side too. That should be easy. Um, anyways, all right, let's go. All right, I mixed some paint. Um, I did a kind of a, um, I painted like the bottom, like this corner area here just to um, test it out and see if it came out right. Um, we'll let this dry for a minute or two um, because it, it'll, it'll dry up a little darker. Um, and then I also mix some orange because the, uh, the piece itself has some orange highlighting in it. So um, we're going to make sure we get the uh, base color right and then we'll just go over a little bit with, um, with some orange and then um, that'll be that. All right, hopefully it works out. All right, that took bloody bloody heck forever, but I think I got it right, or I got it as close as I can get it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay down the um, a preliminary bleh, preliminary layer of paint, okay, and um, we'll uh, go over it again with you know other colors to get it um, perfectly matching right like. Cause like I said, it has some orange, orange in it and stuff like that, and maybe some blacks and what have you. I, mean, I need a bigger brush for this. But anyways, um, we're gonna run, we're gonna lay down this um, first layer. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get a. This brush is irritating. Um, blah, blah, where's the bigger brush? Um, uh, um, where's the bigger brush? Dag blast it. That's on the other thing here. Hold on a second. Ah! Uh, that's for you, Kyle. There we go. This, was, this one's probably going to work. All right. Okay. All right. Let me get that. All right. But anyways, as I paint this, it's obviously it's not going to match. Um, because I'm going to have to blend in some other colors to to get the, the consistency correct. Like right now this is coming out really light but it darkens and stuff and it'll like match up better as it dries. Alright, 
because this is pretty light. And then I um, also have to go over it again anyways because of the the gray of the clay is still showing through. All right. All right. Cool. I'll let this dry for a couple minutes, and then I'll um, go over it again. And then I'll probably do a couple layers, probably. Oop. Let's get some of this stuff here. Yeah. Do some blending and make it so that it looks right. Whoop. Yeah, it doesn't really take too long to dry. All right, cool. That's the first layer, basically. All right, cool. I'll come back in a little bit. All right. <clears throat> okay, here's a, a simple part to show. Um... Just repainting the uh, the black part. I'm gonna use a gloss, not a gloss, but a um, metallic-y type of paint because it looks like it looks like the inside of this um, paint is kind of kind of got a glossy sheen to it. So I'm gonna do the metallic type. Oops. Anyways, we'll go through all of it and whatever. All right. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, this is how it gets tricky. Um, we're going to start adding some some of this orange in here to match this in. Whoops. Anyways, um, yeah. So we'll do that. we got to add some tiny bit of tiny bit of some black so that that dirties that up a little bit. All right. Oops, some more black. Okay, dirty that up just a hair. We'll just sprinkle some of this in. Okay. Some more of this. Whoops. Anyways, this looks like looks like crap as I'm doing it, but I'll I'll stop the camera and work on this cuz I'm totally jacking this up right now. So, anyways, we'll just slowly kind of work it in there. Okay. Let's just dirty this up a bit. Let's clean this up a little bit with some of the lighter colored thing. Okay. Let's grab some more orange. Oops. Yeah, a bit more orange. Um, there we go. Anyways, let me work on this for a minute. Like I said, that's kind of be tricky to try and do it as I'm videotaping. Um, okay, let's get some orange in here. Whoops. Some strong orange in here. Um, anyways, alright. Like I said, this is the trickiest, trickiest part to try and get this this to match up so that it doesn't look like it's been repaired all right okay and it's just blending of basically three different colors right now all right get some more orange on in this spot here I need some black in there black you got to be careful because it goes on super strong see it goes on real strong all right all right let me like I said, let me go uh, shut this camera like I said 10 minutes ago, and we'll uh, come back and see how it came out. All right. Get some more orange over here. Anyways, I'll be back in a little bit. All right. I don't quite like the finish on this. This doesn't it doesn't match up with this stuff here, so I'm basically I'm basically going to take some uh, joint compound and rub this on here. And we're gonna scratch it up a little bit, try and give it more of a a look that's you know uniform to the uh, piece. So we're just gonna slap some of this on here. We're gonna have this dry a little bit, probably overnight. Okay, and then we're gonna do some sanding, perhaps, and then um, it should be a little bit more uniform. It's a little too, it's a little too uh, smooth. I don't like that. That's just not coming out right. Okay, so we'll just kind of work on this a little bit, kind of you know, scuff it up a little bit like that. All right, 
then when we repaint it, it'll come out a little bit better. All right, groovy. All right, uh, she's uh, dried overnight. So now we're gonna go with the, again, the first layer of paint. All right, the underlying color. And then we're gonna go over it with some highlighting of some, uh, with the orange accent color. All right, very good. Super exciting, I know. As before, this paint will darken and it'll match up better. But right now it goes on kind of light. All right. <clears throat> All right, back in a, little, in a little bit. All right. All right, this is where it should really come together right. Um, I'm going to add some of this orange. We're just going to kind of brush it out. Oops, that's too much. But um, here we go. Oops. That looks like it's just blending in. It's not really coming out like I wanted it to, but I wonder if maybe I, yeah, that's not bad. Anyway, I'll work on this and see how it comes out. <sighs> Looks like it might, might not. I might have to add some, <clears throat> oops, the water here. Add some uh, darker colors to it. All right, all right, cool. All All right, it took me a minute to figure this thing out, there, this technique out. I knew about it, but I completely was doing it wrong. So I dab some freaking paint. I take a freaking paper towel thing and I dab it in there. And I go with one, one direction, I, I say, and I just kind of brush. And I just slowly do it. There we go. All right, very good. Um, whoops. Yeah, I don't know if you can really tell in the shot, but I'm just kind of covering the high points. Okay, I'm trying to recreate that orangish effect that's throughout the entire um, entire thing. At first, when I was doing it, it was like not coming out right. Like I said, you have to go in one direction. You start going like this, you start painting over the whole thing, and it just kind of gets all mixed in together all right groovy all right looks like this is about set all right awesome cool all right here it is all done up and finished okay um if you don't remember the uh, broken section is over here okay I matched it up pretty decently, not perfect, but pretty pretty close. Again, here's the broken area, okay? And then I guess the side part's all crazy looking, just like this side, but anyways, um, yeah. So there you go, Linda, uh, about 1,500 for that. <laughs> no, just kidding. She could pay me nothing, I'd be happy. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video there. Um, and then as always, feel free to subscribe if you'd like, leave a comment if you'd like, that'd be cool. But, uh, anyways, that's that. And, um, we're going to work on the next project. All right, cool.